posture one and posture two. Gave me a little bit better access when I was right at the beginning. See, when I was back here with the first, just beginning, this had better, more access. Right. So I think that was the right Can way to go. Can we remove this handle a little bit just for a second? Yeah, when the screw is just beginning, mm -hmm. the handle backwards versus this way, the handle, that shoves it right up against the wall. Right, you have that. But this, this gives it a little more access to when you're starting a screw. Because it's bent forward. Yeah. Cool. Okay. I'm gonna do this one right here. Okay. Now, that is really tight. Oh, here we go. That's fine. These nice coarse threads, which mean they drive quickly. That's the high-low screw? That's the high-low thread, yeah. It also proves to be a coarse thread. See it, the joint being pulled together there? Yeah. Right. And you're holding quite a bit of pressure on it. I'm holding it down so that, yeah, that it... I'm pushing down with my fingers on this one and I'm holding down on this one with my hand so we end up with a nice flush joint on the other side. It's one of those situations that doesn't demand clamps, doesn't, it clamps are okay. And you can see there's not, this is not taking very long to go from Pieces to part, yep. pieces to product. And it seems like a really convenient way to put together a tight joint. A tight access. Tight access. Yeah. Yeah, there are lots of situations where you really don't have all the room to put a driver in from this direction. So, yeah, these joints are just nice and flush. Ready for sanding. And you did that with no clamping? That was no clamping. That was just hold the parts and, and drive the screw. And that's just with these two parts.